hello and welcome back to the new video of the java tutorial series so today we will be covering method overriding in java so what is method overriding uh, if subclass that means a child class has the same name a same method name as declared in the parent class and it is known as a method overriding in java in other words if a subclass provides the specific implementation of the method that has been declared by one of its parent class then it is known as method overriding we'll see what it is by getting one real life example and next we will see uses of the method overriding so method overriding is used to provide the specific implementation of a method which is already provided by its super class for example uh, one method is there which is declared in the parent class and imp some implementation part is also declared in the parent class and you just need to uh, you have to get that method inside our subclass so you simply uh, write extends that parent class uh, keyword uh, to inherit the properties of the parent class and you can use that same method name inside the subclass and get that implementation in our subclass so method overriding is used for the runtime polymorphism and uh, next up we will see rules for java method overriding uh, the method overriding must have the same name as in the parent class so the the name of the method should be same in both the classes one is parent class and the uh, subclass the method must have the same parameters as in the parent class uh, so the number of the parameters that uh, the method is accepting in the parent class should be same as that of the number of the parameters it uh, it was accepting in the subclass and th there must be a is a is a relationship which uh, represents the inheritance in java okay uh, let's understand the problem without method over uh, method overriding and we will see how it, how it fixes by using the method overriding so let me open my ide okay it's opening wait we'll see one example uh, how method overriding fixes one problem okay we'll see first problem uh, okay so let me create my new java class method over writing okay let me increase the font size okay uh, now suppose uh, let me declare one more class so that I can define differentiate between the parent class and subclass I will create one class vehicle Okay, and inside that I will declare one method uh, which re doesn't return anything that's why I write void as a return type and inside that I will simply print vehicle is running and now this uh, public class method overriding is extending that vehicle class so i will write extend vehicle and now uh, inside this i will write my main method and inside that i will create the object of the this method overriding class method overriding obj1 new method overriding and using this ob object obj1 obj1 i am calling the run method <laughs> now if i run this class the expected output should be vehicle is running yes vehicle is running uh, now now you see the problem is that i have to provide a specific implementation of the run method in the subclass that is that is why we use the method overriding okay so here also now you will see uh, how it eliminates this problem okay uh, let me comment this out now one more class is required with the same name okay and inside this i will write the same method first void run 
and inside this I will put, simply print uh, vehicle is running okay and now uh, one more class public class I will just copy this code okay and now this uh, method over adding class is extending extending the uh, vehicle class and now inside this I will write the same method that I have written earlier void run and inside this I will simply print bike is running okay now uh, I will declare my main method and inside this I will create the object of the method overriding class that is obj1 is equals to new method overriding and using this object obj1 I'll call obj1 dot run now you'll see uh, how method overriding eliminates this problem okay and here you can see bike is running okay now uh, this run method is also declared inside this uh, vehicle method uh, vehicle class sorry and which is printing vehicle is running and same uh, method by the same name we have uh, written inside this public class method overriding which is extending the vehicle class so vehicle class is the parent class and uh, this method overriding is a child class and inside this run method i, I have written uh, bike is running and when when we call this obj1 dot run it will call the subclass method which is this and uh, we'll see how to call uh, if the if the same uh, two methods are there by the same name and you are trying to achieve the method overriding and if you want to call the method which is declared inside the parent class then we will we will use some one specific keyword is there super keyword we will see what is it what it is in our upcoming videos uh, super keyword is used to call the method which is declared inside the parent class now you now we will see one real life example of method overriding so that you can understand it clearly okay and let me just comment this out wait okay let me clear my terminal okay now we are here uh, now you see uh, I will create one class name as bank and we as we know we have every bank has their interest rate okay so I will write one uh, variable get rate of interest okay get rate of interest so this is the my method name and this method is simply returning zero okay okay I have declared one method get rate of interest and it doesn't uh, accepting any parameters and the return type of the method is zero okay it returns nothing it returns uh, zero and I will now I create uh, one more class uh, let's suppose any bank SBI which is extending the bank class and now inside this I will write int get rate of the interest and I will pass and I will return Eight. Uh, similarly, I will create one more one more bank class. Okay, any bank you want. Let's suppose ICICI, which is extending the bank class. Inside this, I will write again the. I will inherit the override the same method which is declared inside the bank class. Get rate of interest now I will return inside this return let's suppose 7 okay and now 
we will declare uh, our public class i will just copy the this line and i will paste it over here and yes okay and now this class is extending okay nothing okay and now if i get inside my public class i will declare my main method and inside my main method i will create the object of the sbi class sbi obj1 is equal to new sbi and i will create object of the icic bank also obj2 it equals to new icici okay i have created all the object and now i will simply print i will print sbi interest is and i will concatenate it with obj1 dot get rate of interest and i will simply copy this because the same code we require for icici bank also i will paste it over here and change the bank name okay and object name also because object for icici bank is obj2 and now if i run this here you can see sbi interest is 8 and icici bank interest is 0 why so or i sorry i'm i have written interest spelling wrong interest okay now it's okay if i run run this class again it should print sbi interest is 8 and icic interest is 7 okay now it's correct now here you can see uh, one base implementation of the rate of interest for the every bank is there we will just inheriting uh, extend overriding this methods each each and every time for the different ba banks we, you can create n number of the bank banks over here and you will simply override this method uh, get get rate of interest and return the particular rate of interest for that bank okay and now we will see some popular questions which are asked for method overriding that is can we override a static method the simple answer is no a static method cannot be overridden it can be proved by runtime po polymorphism so we can learn it later on our upcoming videos and why why can we not override the static method uh, it is because the static method is bound with a class whereas the instance method is bound with an object okay uh, what i what it means is this style which method uh, static method is always bind with the class not with the object now whenever we, whenever you run this run this class the static the method which are declared as a static binds with that class itself not with the object here obj1 obj2 okay and static uh, static belongs to the class area and instance belongs to the heap area we'll see what is uh, heap area and stack area in upcoming videos and can we override the java main method no because the main method is the static method and we cannot override the method methods which are declared as a static okay i hope you got the concept of the method over overriding in java and thank you for watching this video